amazing people thank you so much and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is riziki and i have to appreciate you so if you're new here karibu sana feel at home subscribe like and uh drop your comment down below if you will like this video and also for the returning subscribers i really really appreciate so feel at home let's dive in let's have a talk let's impact one another and change lives guys i have to appreciate you for the uh for the support that you're giving me i really feel um grateful for the things that you guys are doing to to me because this family is growing we didn't start here but we we are going to continue to do this we are going to continue impacting lives and this uh, amazing amazing episode and this amazing amazing show of an amazing woman is here for you to help us i want to help people young women build themselves and um, in today's topic uh having welcomed you into this channel guys i want us to talk about uh us young ladies growing up what was it like and also i want to dive in into this topic called a uh, uh, human spirit do you know that your human spirit is designed to make you good do you know that uh, your human spirit is designed to to make you great do you know that your human spirit is also there to make you sacrifice a lot so today we are going to dive into that but uh, before to end the uh, our human spirit because it was a topic and um, i had to dive into it i had to take a look into it uh, it was a topic a motivational talk by lisa nicholas if you have time guys you can search for her she is an, an amazing amazing uh, motivational speaker and she has a lot um, of something that we that is going to impact our lives so before that i want to paint a picture of me growing up as a young woman me growing up as a young lady now i won't be emotional and i won't go into details but i want to give you the picture of this young woman who is in front of you what was it like growing up now my mom died when i was only two years old i was still breastfeeding and i didn't ha i didn't know up to now i don't know the love of a biological mother because sikuwa na ule ufahamu wa kujua mamangu ni nani sikulelewa na mama yule a real mother ama yule mama aliyeza so in a young age i had to learn to fight my battles in a young age i had to learn to cope with emotions in a young age i had to deal with fear in a very young age i had to deal to to i had to deal with depression in a young age i had to deal with rejection as a young woman growing up it reached a point where singeza ku peana mtu all my things you know um, if you have a mother in your life it is so easy for a woman ama kwa kwa msichana mdogo kukimbilia kwa mama yake now i didn't have that i had my sisters but then again something that uh, was there was that um, we kept on shifting from place to place nimelelewa katika mikono ya watu wengi sana being uko hapa leo kesho mwingine amekuja ameona unateseka uko hapa umeenda hapa kesho amekuja ameona unateseka uko hapa so i had to cope with all this environment i am an adapter of new environments each and every time i had to adapt into new environments and every environment ilikuwa na impact yake kwa maisha yangu kuna some things and things and ambazo zikuwa zina happen kwa maisha yangu i couldn't even reject them i had to go through sexual violence i had to go through uh nilichelewa sana kuenda na sare actually i came to pick up uh, wakati nikiwa mkubwa mkubwa ile like class 2 hapo class 3 ndo nikaanza sasa kujua sasa i had to stick with education other than ninge ningeendelea hivyo masomo haikuwa valid sana ile kiwango ni kiwango mdogo and all that because i didn't have that mother figure the mother figure i got after some time and it helped me i have a second mother right now that she helped me and um, i'm a quirky ni i can draw why i am uh, why am i saying that it's because that as a young woman we had to have a personal relationship with our parents we had to have uh, we have to have a personal relationship with our daughters so if you are a, a young woman uko na mama ko you have to value her you have to value this because i lacked that amazing amazing thing and it is still and ni kama ni kidonda kwangu that i have to deal with some things that sometimes unafika point unasema i wish i had 
uh, I had her. I wish she was there. I wish she angekuwa, yani ingekuwa ni kitu she doesn't go nyingi ingekuwa namwambia but right now I have to deal with all of that all of it. So another thing that also breaks me down um, and uh, made me to be strong as a young woman my only pillar after my mom died was my big brother my big, my big brother is this kind of a person when you buy he was the breadwinner in the family and it happened that uh, in Lipofika 2014 he had some issues on his career and uh, it it uh, ilimfanya akafungwa for all that time since in 2018 I felt like ilifika point kwa maisha yangu nikaona kama nimekuwa mother is no uh, love the society is rejecting us as a family the society was not there for us even the the the, the, the government was not there for us because you see like in a case in my brother ako up to now it is so hard to have justice for him because you can imagine uh, I started like a joke and this also impacted me negatively in my life because i have to deal with things that are deep i have to deal with things that me mwenye nilikuwa naona they are so easy they are not easy because it started like a joke it started with the, uh, my brother is this kind of a person mwenye ambaye ni mkali yani ni mkali too naturally so in his career he was a teacher and it happened that uh, alikuwa na hiyo kali mpaka kwa kwa career yake so that one made uh, his colleagues waka develop jealousy unto him because also another thing that happened is he is learned he has a phd in mathematics and stuff but then again there was some jealousy unajua mambo na kule shago stuff zika happen zika happen and then he ended up in jail and up to today uh, uh, we are still fighting for his justice I, though i left that to god because i can i cannot fight for it but what i'm trying to say is that thing also impacted me as uh, personally as as a woman as a young woman as a young lady growing up imagine this this person was the breadwinner in the family i could ask anything for 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 school, things to do with school things to do with uh, life yani in my tajangu he was the one who was catering for but then again when this happened nikaona ni kama nimeisha everything stopped my dad went through depression the family went down everything was not working but what did i do i learned to i learned to stand by myself i learned to fight i learned to to endure everything i had to endure every pain that was coming on my way for me to 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 emerge victorious now to the topic today of an human spirit there was something that lisa nicholas was saying in this motivation speech of hers and she was telling um me directly because i took that speech to be mine and she was telling me that do you know that the human spirit doesn't care that the economy is bad do you even know that it doesn't even care do you know that the the, the no this this touched me because she's saying that do you know that the the, the human spirit doesn't care that your sons your father's son is in jail that one hates me so much because my brother currently as we are speaking he's still in jail he's suffering for something that he did not commit but the human spirit doesn't even it, it is not concerned about that and also something else he says do you know that the human spirit doesn't care what is happening in your family the challenges that are happening in your family why does he that the human spirit doesn't care because the human spirit wants you to fight the human spirit wants you to rise up the human spirit wants want you to do something you can do it and that is how the human spirit is saying the human spirit here is commanding you to start doing things that people are not doing you can stand up for your family you can stand up for your your life you can stand up to change things and that is what i am doing because i'm in the process of deliver uh, i'm on the process of knowing myself better i'm in the process right now of knowing how to deal with things uh, at my age i had to deal with conf- co- uh, i had to deal with uh babangu how to be to make him i feel better because you know akona mambo mengi anapitia depression in amaliza and everything so i had to be that pillar i had to have uh, to have that strong uh, stand 
that okay this is gonna happen yes for family yes but i have to stand up i have to stand up so the human spirit here wants you to create something that is not there and what are you creating you are creating some uh, an, an impact in yambo labda itakuwa it kuja ku change life what are you creating you are creating a generation in yambayo itakuja ku impact life what are you creating you are creating a memory in yambayo when you look at things you are creating yourself to go deliver them i'm creating myself to go back and do something i'm creating myself to stand up and be counted in my generation and also the human spirit is designed to make us so what are you swearing as a young woman on a pandemic what are you swearing because we, we we need to stand up we need to do things we need to implant things that will impact us that will impact the other generation and the other day there was uh, i was graduating i i did um I was graduating from Technical University of Mombasa and I went to Mombasa for my graduation. Now I found this young baby, she was crying and I was like, okay, I asked ni nini mbaya na mtoto kwa sababu analia. Do you know that I had uh that who uh, mtoto ako na wiki moja sasa ajeona mamake. What happened to the mother? The mother got sick and the mother died. That the same situation that happened so many years ago with me because it happened just like that. It started like like I was crying and then I didn't have a mother. I didn't see my I didn't see my mom and up to now I saw I saw me in that young baby. And I I told that baby that you will rise up. You will stand up because I did it. I did it. I'm here 20 uh, uh 20 years ago i didn't have i was crying i was a young baby crying but now i am here delivering the message i conquered it all so we have to show good things we have to stand up and be counted in this generation that is what the human spirit is telling us because it is designed to lead us you know there's something with um the brain eh? i want to talk about that uh, as we wind up eh? when you get to the edge your brain will tell you to stop to say me umepanda mahali na unataka kuanguka you know that your brain will tell you si usiende tuchukulie mfano wa like kama ni umbo anavoka barabara you know that kama kuna gari inakuja atasimama pamoja na hayawani wake hatavoka barabara because as little the brain is bado ina bleed so the brain is there to lead us our human spirit is there to lead us what are you doing we have to command ourselves we have to do things we have to create things and we have to impact life and that is my message for today and uh, we have to learn we have to fight and we have to leave it all so and fight so that we can gain it and go back and save our families that is what i wanted to talk about today about the human spirit and i hope that this message if you get it if we continue uh, embracing each other as women if we continue to impact each other as women we are heading somewhere so uh guys that is what i wanted to talk today and i uh, as i am winding up to this amazing amazing uh episode today i want to recommend my camera person my videographer <laughs> i have never recommended him his name is edmond madime edmundo 006 in instagram right i will have the handle down there so uh go check him out in instagram and follow him because he's a nice person he's a nice camera person also and you'll get to know about him he's also an actor so uh <laughs> that is what i'm having for today guys for you thank you so much um for subscribing thank you so much for watching this amazing amazing video until next time my name is riziki don't forget to subscribe to like share and leave your comment down below we we'll meet next time bye bye